Hello, today on Storytime with Jen, we're going to be reading Perfect Princess. Zoe is grouchy. Original story by Fabienne Blanchute. Illustrations by Camille Dubois. English text by Angela Williams. Today, Zoe's so grumpy. Goodness gracious me, no one wants to play, she grumbles. She's as grouchy as can be. But when Zoe becomes a perfect princess, she plays all by herself with her dollies and her toys. She has plenty of fun without making too much noise. At Lucy's part birthday party, Zoe is super miffed. Lucy completely forgot to open Zoe's gift. But when Zoe becomes a perfect princess, she's happy for her friend when it's their special day. Her mom is so proud that she behaves this way. Zoe doesn't want her hair cut. No way, not at all. She wiggles in her seat and kicks her feet against the wall. But when Zoe becomes a perfect princess, even if she's not in the mood, she can be patient and polite. And when the hairdresser's done snipping, her cut is really quite all right. Zoe does not want her picture taken. Mom even asks, pretty please? She sticks her tongue out and she will not say cheese. But when Zoe is a perfect princess, she smiles nicely for a photo when her parents ask her to. She hugs her brother Ollie because it's a fun thing to do. Zoe's play date is ruined. It's pouring rain, the clouds are gray. But instead of changing her plan, she stays grouchy all day. But when Zoe becomes a perfect princess, she doesn't let the rainy weather get her down or make her blue. Not when there are snails to count and puddles to splash through. Sometimes Zoe thinks that Ollie is always in the way. He tags along and he copies her. She just wishes he'd go away. But when Zoe becomes a perfect princess, it's important being a big sister. She must look out for Ollie. And besides, he's so cute, so cheerful, and so jolly. For the past two days, Zoe has decided she won't eat green food. She won't touch her dinner because she's in such a foul mood. But when Zoe becomes a perfect princess, she wants mom to be happy. So she tries some of each dish. Now she likes new things, like Swiss cheese on poached fish. Uh-oh, Zoe won't feed her cat Leo, even though Daddy has asked her to. It's part of owning a pet, he says, and we've all got chores to do. But when Zoe becomes a perfect princess, she won't forget to feed Chester or Leo the cat. Taking care of cute critters, that's what she's really good at. The time has come for Zoe to get ready for bed, but instead of pajamas, she wants to wear a wet towel instead. But when Zoe becomes a perfect princess, Mom doesn't have to help her to wash up or get dressed. Zoe's a big girl now, and she doesn't even leave a mess. When Zoe and Zach went skating at the nearby rink, Zach fell to the ice suddenly. It happened in a blink. His fall made him grouchy. It made him really sad. Zoe tried to cheer him up, but then he got mad. That's when she decided that cheerfulness is best. From now on, I won't be grumpy, says the perfect princess. The end. That's it for today's episode of Storytime with Jen. Don't forget to like and subscribe. and We will see you tomorrow.